welcome to the fifth edition of the Friday Beer Break brought to you by the Toronto Festival of Beer, July 26th through 28th. As you can tell, steam whistles what we're drinking today. <laughs> Absolutely. And joining me, Chris Schreier, for us, Toronto Beer. Let's see. This is, uh, we're obviously wearing these great hats, which is a, a, a staple of Toronto Festival of Beer, is the silly steam whistle hat. Uh, and, and so it's. Mine's not even silly, mine is amazing. I thought mine was amazing. Mine's pretty too. awesome too, actually. Indeed. I really like it. I guess so, but I, <laughs> I fight crime. It's true, I ride horses. <laughs> you I get evade. shot. I stare, apparently. That's right, evade <laughs> getting killed. Yeah. Uh, Off to a great start this today. Is, this is quality <laughs> foam right here. Well, if you guys want your own, uh, you can just have come by our booth at Toronto Beer Fest. And, you know, the most creative design, anything you can think of between now and then, the more creative, the better. Just come by, by our booth and... Uh, or make yeah. your own, I guess, if you really wanted to. But they won't be as good though, right? Because this, yeah. this, this takes professionals. skill. Yeah, and they have tools and a lot of boxes and it's the way to go. It. Um, anyway, so we, we are going to be drinking steamers. We might as well get that yes. right now. We're going to have some steamies. And uh, I don't know if that's the official term or not. Me and my friends on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm having some trouble with this. Oh, and my hat. You should try this <laughs> now. You should try this bottle opener right here. It's yeah, made use of this gold. one. Yeah, well, it's made we'll of get to that later. Gold. Anyway, Steam Whistle Beer, um, we've actually even covered it on the break before, but a great Pilsner made here in Toronto at the Roundhouse right by the, uh, the CN Tower. And uh, I think it, it's one of my kind of go-to keep in the fridge beers myself. Let's do like a, a cheers first. Cheers. Cheers. All right, so what is the deal with the, the golden opener before we get into the, the story of Steam Whistle here? So the golden opener, uh, for a limited time only, uh, you could check out our specially marked cases and you have actually 12 chances to win a golden opener each time. So uh, you could pop the cap and you check under the cap and it'll say different things like this one says no golden opener but enjoy the golden nectar so you're still a winner. Um, it'll say you could win a free tour. Yeah, I think we have a free tour here. Free tour, so yeah. that's right if you want to come by. Um, and then there is six golden openers out there. So those are, it's, a, it's kind of a hunt for gold. Now there. this is coast to coast now. Uh, it is in Alberta and Ontario. All right. And uh, beer stores in Ontario and uh, retailers in Alberta. All right, so what it involved, like if you win the tour, what happens when you're on the tour? Well, uh, just if you win a regular tour, you can just come by and then you just get the regular tour. If you win the golden opener, well, that is a mystery. And uh, What do you be, mean it's a mystery? Well, you got to win the golden opener to find out. But let's just say it's very similar to a certain movie from a certain time frame. <laughs> Gene Wilder, everybody. Look him up. He's a fantastic Have you guy. met our co-founder? No. Okay, well. Is that what ends up happening? Well, Somebody's going to inherit the brewery? If you, the connection, if you've met him, you'd know exactly what I mean. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So tell us a bit of the story about Steam Whistle, like the, the origin of the brewery and all that stuff. Um, so basically, Steam Whistle is a brewery right in Toronto, local, fresh, uh, for all natural ingredients. We keep it simple. It's, uh, we're the only brewery to our knowledge to be making um, a Czech style one beer, a Czech style Pilsner. Uh, the brewery originated, we're an ind independent Canadian brewery. Uh, it was started by three fire guys who used to work in the 80s for a different brewery. Then it was bought out. They all got fired, did different things, loved the business so much, and who can blame them, that they decided to start up their own brewery. And uh, here we are. They started up in 2000, 2013, and uh, still going strong with these hats, clearly. Yep. I think I remember, <laughs> I think the first time I went on a tour at Steamless was probably about 2002. And uh, it's funny because it's the same space. You've grown because um, it's the roundhouse, so there's like segments and you've moved into some others but the feel that that very independent very like micro feel is still there uh, yeah it's, it's we host awesome. a lot of we have tons of really fun events like if you really like beer would do the craft beer festival which is happening august 10th and 11th um it, it's at the roundhouse which is just the park outside the roundhouse and uh, we invite ontario craft breweries to come out and really exhibit their beers as well as um, you know food trucks and it's just a fun time if you're looking to explore Cool. Beer. So how come the, like all the other breweries that they, they do a lot of small batches of different types of beer and you guys have just stuck to your guns and gone straight with the Pilsner? Because we do one thing really, really well, right? So it's on the wall <laughs> somewhere, I think. Yeah, it? it is. That's our <laughs> slogan. And you know, that's what, it's, we just put every, everything we do, all of our efforts, all of our passions into making just that one style of uh, Czech style Pilsner. It's, it's just, it's what we do best and we stick to it and we're not going to change. Okay, <laughs> I got a question. Let's say... I want some steam whistle, and I don't want to go to the LCBO. I don't want to go to the beer store. I don't want to go to a bar. Like I'm, I'm bedridden basically, but I still want to drink beer. 
Well, funny you bring that up. It's called a throw. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Thank, thanks for that. So uh, we're actually, you can purchase Stingmasol um, from grocerygateway.com. So it's ideal, perfect for anyone, you know, uh, families, young families, anyone living in the, um, in the city. So you can buy groceries and then you can get them delivered along with your beer. And Steam is the only beer available on there and you can pretty much, you know, it's, it's fresh, local, convenient, instead of, you know, going to the store and then having to drag a 2-4 and all these other grocery bags, you can just literally go online, order it, and they deliver it to you. Now for everybody who's like really keen on being like an environmentalist consumer, like you guys got some very, very cool environmentally friendly green programs at the brewery, right? Yeah. Uh, so our bottles are actually 30% heavier than the industry standard brown bottle, and that's the green bottle. And so it can be reused up to 45 times. So actually, if you want to come by for a tour, if you happen to be one of the lucky ones that gets a cap, you can come by and see our machine, our the bottle washing machine that actually enables our bottle to go um, 45 times instead of just 15 times. So it's three times more environmentally friendly. You know, all our ingredients, our brewery, um, just come by and see for yourself. I do know just explain it. You just really have to experience it. <laughs> What's that water thing though with the Great Lake? Yeah, it's a deep, wa deep water cooling. Deep lake water cooling. So we don't use air conditioning. We use deep lake water cooling system. So we actually take water from the bottom of Lake Ontario, the chilled water, and that's how um, our building is chilled. Is this big bag of uh, groceries related to the grocery gateway? That's the idea. Yes, it is. Just so the people would at home like are some, saying. Would you like some bacon chips? Do you want, do you want chips? So I really, would like a bacon chip. It's all fresh. Help yourselves, guys. Um, it's all fresh, local ingredients, and it's convenient. And you know, it's such a great fit because we, um, you know, we're a local brewery that uses all fresh and natural ingredients. And uh, Grocery Gateway is also one of those great Canadian companies that I'm okay. What? I know. <laughs> I'm having a nutritious thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick to the beer. That's it's like uh, liquid bread, right? Well, that's exactly, awesome. Exactly, instead of the chips. So you guys are at uh, Toronto Festival of Beer. You got the we hats are. going. You won't be hard to find. You never are. Yeah. You can follow just, people just with the hats. Exactly. Just a massive lineup. All right. Well, what? I was gonna say the dates, but I just about choked on a piece of cracker. July 26th through 28th. Go to the Toronto Festival of Beer and get a hat, but not this one. I want to be the only dark night. Or I guess so it's probably something night. creative. Surprises. It's like Green Lantern meets Batman. That actually happened once. Almost too much power. 